Hi everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Painting at Home. I'm Jean Moss. It's so wonderful to see you all on this beautiful Wednesday. So today is a very exciting day because I am going to be exploring a rainbow. It's something that I just find so majestic and so wonderful. So today is all about the rainbow and I invite you to think about the last time you saw a rainbow because I cannot remember the last time I saw a rainbow, if ever. But luckily I was able to Google it. Let's get started. I've got all of my materials here and I've got my canvas. Now today is a little bit different because we have done a vertical canvas as opposed to our horizontal that we've been doing the last couple of days. So we're really kind of mixing it up here in my studio. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now I decided that my rainbow today is going to be on a sea, maybe a seascape, uh, perhaps over the water. So we're going to get started with that and I'm going to get started with my smaller brush and I've got my trusty palette of watercolor paints and we are just going to see what kinds of wonderful colors we can explore today. So many colors in the world and we are going to see how many of them we can fit in today's painting. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my delicious color blue right over here and I've got three different shades and I'm just going to go ahead and mix them all together. Blue and this blue and then oh what the hey maybe some of my glitter blue and then I think some of my purple. We're going to start to outline what that water might look like my ocean, if you will. So I'm just gonna start to draw, oh, maybe some blues. And I think this water is extra blue. And I'm just gonna do an interesting sort of wave. And I'm just gonna see what happens with that wave. Maybe a couple of little curvy lines. I'm gonna make sure my brush gets nice and wet for this. Grabbing some more of that blue. As I say, I've got three different colors and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that with some of this purple because why not? And even might throw in a little bit of green. And I'm just creating these wonderful textures with my water. You can do whatever you want with your water, but I like to get the movement. That's what we're really focusing on today is movement in our water. So there we have it. There's our water. This is the beginnings of our water. And I might go ahead and, oh, what the heck, maybe draw a couple little waves. And for that, I'm gonna take a little bit darker purple, and I think I'm gonna throw in a little bit of black and then blue because we want a little bit more of that shading. So I'm just gonna draw, oh, a couple little waves here. Here's some water. This looks gorgeous. So we're just grabbing a little bit of that blue and a little bit of that black and what the heck, maybe a little bit of that purple. And we're just doing a little bit of waving. Here we go. So this is our water and I've been just exploring different kinds of movement and textures. And I invite you all just absolutely do the same in your life. Play with textures, play with yourselves, see what you can find. So we're grabbing some of that blue, some of that purple and some of that black. I'm just gonna keep on this pattern. Here's another little wave. And look at that, there's our water. It's just coming together so beautifully. I've got a little bit of wave in the background. Wonderful. Now we're gonna let this settle for a moment so that we can get that texture in. Let's grab a little bit more of that black, a little bit more of that blue. And certainly you know I'm gonna bring up my big, my big old brush. I've decided to name him Jimmy. Oh, I love naming my brushes. Why not? Here we go. So I've got a little purple and a little bit of that blue. And then I've also mixed in black. Now use both sides of your brush, all sides. Use the whole girth of that brush. Here we go. We're just filling this pathway in. I'm so excited to see what happens. And this is the beginning of our water. Here we go. And maybe throw a little bit of just texture. Grab a little bit more of that blue, that black, and voila. We have texture. It's so easy to get texture. You just have to know exactly what to do with your wrist, this way or this way. It's completely up to you. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and start our sky. One thing I wanna do is I just wanna go ahead and broaden the whole sky because then we'll let that settle and then we'll start drawing the various colors of our rainbow. It all comes together. So I've got my big boy Jimmy here, trusty old brush. How you doing today, buddy? Now we're gonna just go ahead and grab some more of that blue, but I've got all these fun blues and a little bit lighter purple. And I'm thinking this rainbow must have come out of some kind of a rainstorm because I read in an encyclopedia once that that is where rainbows come from. They come from sun and water. It is indeed a reflection. 
So, you really do learn a lot from a very good uh, edition of Encyclopedia Britannica. I recommend you all give one a try. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of different colors here. And we're just going to start to sweep across our sky. Great, and I'm going to make sure my brush is a little bit extra damp today because we need all the help we can get. Here we go. So I've got a little bit of that red, a little bit of that blue, and I'm also grabbing some of this iridescent orange because why not? And remember, we're going to just see what happens. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love when you mix just a bunch of colors together. Here we go. So we've got a little bit of blue. I'm grabbing red. I'm grabbing my few different kinds of blues and maybe a little bit of this brown sort of look. Oh, look at that. Yes. And again, use both sides of your brush. This is wonderful. So we're drawing our rainbow over the water. Now rainbows symbolize so many different things. They symbolize unicorns. They symbolize fairies. And sometimes they even symbolize love. Just sometimes though. I'm just grabbing all these different colors. I'm just going to draw all over the top here. This is my sky. These colors would make a beautiful skirt, I'm sure. All right, we're just about finishing up with our sky, and then we're going to just kind of let that settle. So I've got my blue, and I've got my lovely little reds here. We're really just kind of jumping in. There we go. Oh, yes. That is a nice colorful sky. We're just going to let that kind of live on the page. Here we go. I love just finding different colors. As I said today, it's all about just exploring color and using as many as we can to create a beautiful rainbow. Now I'm drawing my sky, just getting that started here. And I'm going to come as far down as I possibly can, and then I'm going to let it dry cause we're going to wait for that to dry and then that's when we will start our rainbow. And I'm thinking in the background somewhere, maybe there's a few bluffs. Oh, our imaginations are just running today. I've even decided I'm going to throw in a little bit of green in my sky. I've got my reds, got a little bit of yellow, and we're just going to play around with all sorts of things today. Look at that. Just a big broad stroke. So you stroke your paintings however you want to. Tighten your grip and go to town, that's what I say. Tighten your grip and go to town. Got a little bit more blue, we're just about finishing up here. I want to make sure that I get a little bit of that red because, as I said before, rainbows do indeed come from sun. So, the storm has passed. Look at that. And now, it's time for bright, beautiful colors. And there's our sky. I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. So we're making wonderful progress. Our rainbow is soon and fast approaching. I'm going to come back to my littler brush here. Wonderful. And I think I'm going to draw a few shapes in the background. What the heck? So I'm going to grab a little bit of this glittery, just beautiful green. And then I'm also going to grab some purple. Didn't expect me to say that, did you? Well, I did. I am full of surprises today. And I'm even going to grab a little bit of this purple over here. And we're just going to go ahead and draw a little bluff. Here's our bluff. Look at that. It's just going to come right down the side. And there's our little bluff. Look at that. And I'm using that same staccato texture. That same exact movement. Now I'm going to actually grab a little bit of, oh, I think this little sort of bronzy color along with my purple. And we're going to just go back into it. I'm going to have some of it go this way and then some of it just go back down this way. And I love that texture because it captures a little bit of rock. Just like that. That's all it takes. Let's grab our purple. A little bit of that sparkle. A little bit of that bronze. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in up here. So this is that texture. That looks just beautiful. Now, I'm going to stay with my beautiful brush here, my little guy, and I'm just gonna fill in, because why not? Why don't we grab a little bit of black, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this wonderful iridescent sort of bronze, and then some browns. We're just creating sort of a muck of color 
just a muck of color. Black, brown, and here we go. I'm just gonna sort of fill in. Look at that. I'm just gonna draw and fill in all these textures. And this is our little bluff. And maybe, just maybe, we'll add a little bit of wave to it. Who knows? So we've got a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, and then, oh, that fun little iridescent. And here we go back into just our little texture here. This is just going to run right off the page, that little rascal. That little rascal. Who knows what's on that bluff? I bet if you look close enough, you might even find some birds. Oh, I bet there are birds indeed. I'm just filling in with a bunch of different kinds of textures. It's so easy to do at home. So easy to do. I invite you just to play. Play with yourselves and play with your paintings and just see what comes of it. You would be surprised. It is so exciting and the feeling is just majestic of play. I play with myself and with my paintings at least twice a day. right first. I wanted to make sure we got our skies in first. Here we go. And this is our cliff. And I'm going to make the background a little bit, just a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker. So I'm going to grab a little bit more black. Look at that. And that's going to change a little bit. Look at that. And maybe a little sun shone through. Gorgeous. Now, how about, how about we make a little bit of wave on that. Oh boy. The ideas are coming. They are coming. Sometimes the ideas just flood in my brain and I feel like I'm going absolutely insane. But I'm not. It's just the ideas. They come and they come and they come. And there's my wave against the shore. Oh yes, I love that. It's just beautiful. Now I'm capturing a little bit of white, everybody. A little bit of white, and this is kind of fun because I'm going to throw in white just to kind of make that look like a little bit, oh, a little bit of white there up there. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then we come all the way down. Look at that. Okay, so we have a terrific start. And now I'm going to give this a moment just to settle, and I'm going to jump on back to my water. And while that dries, we will fill in the water, and then we've got our rainbow. And I have a special little surprise for our rainbow today. So I'm going to go to my big brush. Here's the big boy big old Jimmy, and I'm grabbing just my various blues and purples, and then, oh, maybe a little bit of this green. A little bit of the greens, a little bit of the purples. Again, how many colors can you play with today? Let's find out. Here we go. And I'm just gonna start to fill in my water. And I'm using, as we used before, the horizontal with the longer edge of my brush, and I'm just dabbing it because it's creating a little bit of movement to that water. Look at that. And it's so fun because it's giving it a very lifelike color. I might even leave a little bit of white just to indicate reflection. Just to indicate reflection. Here we go. Coming all the way across, and this is just moving so beautifully. Now I'm gonna come back, just moisten the brush just a little bit, grab a little bit more color. How about a few blues, a few purples. Oh, and what the heck, maybe a little bit of red. Just live in large here. Live in large. And let's go back to that down. Now this is a little bit different and I love that. Because maybe it's a different temperature over here. Who knows? Okay. I'm filling in. Oh, I just cannot wait. For it to get nice and warm so we can all go to the water. There's a wonderful marsh not too far from me. It's a little bit muddy. But you know what? Plenty of good swimming in mud too. Plenty of good swimming. Here we go. A little bit of green, a little bit of that purple, and we just fill in again. Look at that. Oh, that's just wonderful. It's just marvelous. Okay. We're just finishing up here with our water, our ocean. Here we go. Or maybe it's a lake. Who knows? I can never tell the difference. And we're just going to go back and fill in. Oh, yes. I'm just pulling some color over. And it's really creating an interesting texture. Interesting texture. Here we go. And now I'm just going to kind of go across and just blend everything. Look at that. Look at that blending happening. You never know. You never know. And there, of course, is the water. We've got our water. We've got our sky. And 
I think I am ready to jump in to my rainbow. Let's get started. So here we've got our sky. Now I'm gonna get started with that rainbow and I think my rainbow is gonna come down this way. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to explore, oh, I'm thinking today, a little bit of colored pencil. For those of you who don't know, colored pencils are just pencils of color. So we're gonna start with our purple and I'm gonna just come all the way down here. And I'm just gonna use the side. And we're just gonna to start to draw a line down. Just a line down. so that we can thicken the line a little bit. But I don't want it to be too perfect because rainbows are just the illusions of color. So let's do this. For those of you who don't know what illusions are, I recommend you just try eating a lot of toothpaste. Yeah, You'll have some illusions, I promise you. It's a lot of fun, but be careful. All right, so we've started out with sort of, what is this pencil called? Let's have a look. This is called, it doesn't say. But we'll make up a name. How about Violet? A great idea. All right. So we've got our violet. And now I'm going to grab, oh, let's say maybe sort of a blue color. So I've got this lighter blue. And I'm just going to start to color right on the other side of it. Hard to see, but I'll show you. And same thing. We're just coloring. And this is a very similar coloring sort of stroke that I do with my crayons. So now we've got our blue. And we're going to jump on over to the screen. I almost dropped it, but I caught it. Look at that. I'm going to come on the other side here. Look at that. I'm just coloring down. It's just a whimsical movement. Got it. There we go. There we go. We're drawing all the way down. I want to jump back to that purple because we're losing it just a little bit. But I bet we can recover. Look at that. Just blending it, everybody. And then I bet what would be a great idea is if we jump on back to my paints and we blend everything. So we've got a violet, we've got a blue, we've got a green, and I'm going to jump in again a little bit of red. We're exploring rainbows today. And this is my red. Look at that. And we're just going right into the water. It's after the storm. How about we get some warmer colors in there? So we've got our red, and now I'm going to jump on into orange. I've got so many of these wonderful colored pencils. I had no idea colored pencils existed. And then I was sent some by a fan. They said, well, I won't tell you what the note said because it wasn't very nice. But they said, try using this because watercolors are not my favorite. Oh, people can be so silly, can't they? Okay, so we've got a little bit of this orange. Look at that, coming through, just beautiful. So we've got red, green, we've got our violet, we've got our orange and our blue, and now I'm gonna finish off with a little bit of yellow. And the yellow is just gonna go right outside. Look at that beautiful rainbow. Beautiful rainbow, yes, oh, that is just beautiful. And there we've got our rainbow. Look at how that worked out. And now I'm gonna jump on back to my little brush, and we are going to see if we can fill some of that in with some paint. Now, I've never tried this before, but let's see how it goes. So I do have some yellow. I'm going to grab my yellow, and I'm going to start there. And I am just going to take this yellow, and I'm really saturating my brush. Oh, look at that. And we are just going to fill it in. And what's so wonderful is that pencil is showing through a little bit. Look at that, that's beautiful. There's our yellow. It's just going to dump right into the water. Beautiful. And now I'm going to grab some yellow, but then also some of this orange, this sort of reddish orange. We're going to do the same thing oh, right there to our orange color. Look at that. And they're going to sort of blend together. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. But later, you're going to have to wait. Here we go. And there's our, oh, look at how they're blending together. This is just wonderful. I'm going to just blend all that. It's almost like it's just 
coming right out of the sky. It's like the sky ate it, and it's just coming out the bottom. So fascinating. The sky is so magical. I've got this blue, but I'm also going to mix it with this other blue. Oh, look at that. It's almost an aqua. Look at that. And we're just sort of painting down. And I love this. You can see the pencil showing through, and it's just exquisite. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that blue, and what the hey? We have some sparkles. Why not use them? Beautiful colors. Got that blue. Look at that. I'm going to just make sure it kind of blends a little bit. There we go. Nice straight line. Wonderful. Just getting a little bit extra there. This rainbow is just turning out beautifully. Oh, I wish I could see a rainbow someday in real life. You never know. You never know. Let's jump into our purple. We've got this beautiful purple. We're just going to come right down. Oh, I love this purple. It's just yummy. It's tasty. I'd like to eat it. Look at that. It's coming down. And what's so wonderful, everybody, is this purple is just a nice light purple, so you can really see that wonderful colored pencil coming through. It's just magnificent. I'm almost going to blend it a little bit with my blue, everyone. Very similar colors. They're what we call cooler colors. And now we're going to jump into our greens. We have quite a few of those. But let's use just a basic green, very basic green. There we go. And here's our green. Look at that. Perhaps there's a unicorn above this rainbow. Who knows if unicorns are real? I've heard mixed things about them. Mixed things about them. There we go. And then finally, we're going to finish off with our red. Now, I really want to rinse my brush because we had cooler colors, and I want to make sure, of course, that my cooler colors, and I don't mix too much in with my warmer colors because they're not quite the same. Here we go. Look at that. Perfect. Just perfect. Got red next to green. Just like Christmas. How much do we love that? We're just about finishing up here, everyone, and I'm so thrilled. I've got this wonderful, wonderful mountain top here. I'm just going to draw this, and then I'm going to add a little bit more to my sky, and then a couple of clouds, because as I said, rainbows come from storms and rain. There we go. And there's our rainbow, and it's just shining right out of the sky. Okay, so we're going to jump on back to big old Jimmy. Here's Jimmy, and I'm going to saturate that brush. We're going to get a little bit of blue and then also some of this deep purple and perhaps a little bit of green. And we're just going to start to blend everything. I'm blending this way. Look at that. And I'm doing a broader stroke everyone. Why I love that so much is because it is different from the stroke that we had from our water. So we're really capturing a different movement here. And I'm just going to stroke my sky there we go. There we go. We're just blending. It's beautiful. And then we'll come on back to some clouds. Maybe a couple of birds right at the top here of our cliff. And then we will call it a day. Look at that. I love that there's just enough paint on this brush. I don't have to saturate it too much. Because it's really going to create... This word is called continuity. Such a fancy word. That's what we're creating here. It's just a little continuity. There we go, in color. Just a light color. It's coming right through. And now I want to blend this. So I'm just going to go all the way across and blend my rainbow, which is working out just beautifully, especially at the top there. This is wonderful. Now, I've given my sky a little bit of time to dry, and this is the time, I think, to add some clouds. Look at that. Beautiful. One quick thing. I just want to add a little bit more texture to my water. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that black, a little bit of that blue. Oh, and how about some of this iridescence? And let's just find our waves again. Look at that. There it goes. And we're just going right into that. Oh, yes. That color is just exquisite. It is just magisterial, magic color. We are using as many colors as we can. And I'm just going back to make sure distinguished body of water. How funny 
that we call it a body of water. Water doesn't have a body. Okay. There we go. And there we go. Beautiful. All right. So there we have it. Now, let's jump into some clouds. You asked for it, and that's what you are going to get. I know we always love clouds. I'm really tapping that brush. Really tapping it because it is very saturated indeed. Now for clouds, I'm going to grab some of this. These are ominous clouds, remember, and they're clearing. So I'm going to grab a little bit of brown and a little bit of this black and a little bit of this iridescence. And we're just going to start to create little textures. Here are the clouds. Just in the sky. Here's a big old cloud. Look at that. Scary old cloud, probably full of rain. Here we go, grabbing that black, grabbing that little iridescence. Keep on that bad boy. There's one cloud and it's just going to trail off. Trail off. There we go. There's one cloud. Almost looks like a little bit of smoke, doesn't it? Huh? Here we go. And then we're going to grab a little bit more of that black. And I've got my iridescence. Oh, what the hey, maybe some of this bronze. And let's draw a couple of clouds over here. Here we go. Big old cloud. There we go. There's one. Got a very snorry puppy in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear her, but she is indeed tired. I wonder what she might be dreaming about. Here we go. Let's do another cloud right over here. This is the big one. This is the one that brought all that rain. Look at that. More clouds right there. And then, of course, we have to have a cloud that has created our rainbow. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of clouds that have created our rainbow, and this is going to finish up our painting for today. What an adventure. What an adventure. So here's one cloud. Big, puffy old cloud right there. Look at that. This one's going to be so big, I can already tell. Here we go. We've got that iridescence. I just love that word, iridescence. Try to use it in a sentence later. Why not? Here's a big old cloud. Of course, I've got my tape in the middle there. Alrighty, there's one. And then how about another? Big puffy clouds. So much magic in clouds. And I've got my iridescence. I'm just going to draw that a little bit bigger. Just so much texture on this big old cloud. There's one. And then we're going to make sure we have another one because this is a mighty big rainbow. So we need a mighty big cloud. Here we go. Here's my other one. Two clouds creating a rainbow. Iridescence <gasps> coming together so beautifully. And it's blending all that magic color. Just about finishing up. I don't know about you, but it's been a pretty darn sunny day where I've been. So I doubt I'll see any rainbows today. But maybe. Maybe I'll just go, I don't know, dump some water outside and see if I can make a rainbow. Here we go. Just finishing up this big old cloud. Big old bushy cloud. There we go. And that's the cloud that's created our rainbow. Look at how beautiful that is. And now to finish off, as I say, and as I always like to have a little bit of life in my paintings, so I'm going to grab a little bit of black and we're going to draw a couple little birds just coming right over. There's one. experience everybody let's zoom in and take a look at what we've created today beautiful rainbow coming right out of the clouds and if you zoom in even closer you can get a little bit of that texture from the water look at how gorgeous come all the way up just beautiful
It really is amazing how much color we were able to use today and all the magic you can find in rainbows. So much life, so much color. I invite you to go and see any other places where you can find as much color as possible. Try to eat color, try to live in color. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. I'm Jean Moss, and this has been Painting at Home. Thank mm -hmm. you.